Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be an update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. I last did an update at the end of January, so it's it's been nearly three weeks. I'm trying to do them every two, three weeks-ish um, when I remember. Um, or if I don't have other things that are going on that are stopping me from actually doing it. Things everywhere here. Yeah. Okay, coffee. As you can see, my makeup is very full on today, almost drag queen esque, if one would like to put it that way. If you want to know why, you are going to have to check out my channel. This is for a collab that I've done with Every Day with Tamara J. I'll leave a link down below if you want to know how I did all this to my face. So let's get into the products that I had already used up. I have actually finished a couple more, surprisingly enough. Yay. So things that I have finished. I finally actually finished this, which I'd already like thought I had, because Amanda F was like, you go like this, and I got like so much more work like use out of that. But it is now finished, yay. Uh, the Organic Care Body Wash in Fig and Papaya. The High Lift Kilplex Bond Sustainer. Um, I destashed the W7 photo shoot as it had started to oxidize. The Urban Skin Care Body Balm. The Neon & Co Treatment Oil, which was more like water than oil. The Cetaphil Suntivity um, Moisturizer stuff, which is smells like Elmer's glue and is super, super runny. The Nivea Light Moisturizing Day Cream Duplicate. Um, I destashed the Beyond Cozy from Essie because it was too gloopy to work with, even after thinner. I finished off the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm. That is on my repurchase when I have used up other things list. The Harvey Prince Harvey Prince Damask Rose uh, Perfume. The Avon The Avon La Femme perfume, which was in this little atomizer thing. Um, I de-stashed this Rimmel Vinyl Max in Hypnotic, because it was disgusting. I got it, uh, finished up, well this started to um, flake on me. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. I de-stashed last time the Astralis Mint Condition Lip Gloss because it's frankly a bit nasty. Um, I finished off the Power Serum from La Cura. I hit pan on the blush from LOL right up there. I hit pan on the eyeshadow in the That's Heart palette from BH Cosmetics. And the last one was I removed from the project was my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk because I did not like it. So that is all of those. All the stuff I'd already used up. Now onto the things I used up since last time. Um, I am done with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara. I put it on today and it just, it wasn't doing anything. It, um, if you saw the tutorial, it was like, it just made my lashes black, but what it used to do for my lashes doesn't really do. It's kind of started to flake a little bit. For me, flaking and transferring is an absolute no-go. I will not put up with that. So that is the first one of the ones I finished this fortnight. And the other one, is this face mask. I did use it again. I got two uses out of it. I might have been able to do three if I'd done slightly smaller, but I kind of full on it when I did it the last time. And I ended up a little red. 
don't necessarily recommend that. But it is now done. So that is that one done and out of the way. Yay. Now on to the things that I have not finished. I haven't worn makeup a lot in the last three weeks. I have to be honest. Um, so the Honolulu bronzer from W7. Um, it hasn't really changed a whole lot. There's this dent thing in there. Um, as I told you before, I had an accident with it, but that, and pan is showing, but that wasn't my pan. I'm working in this spot here. I tend to use it as a transition shade on my eyes when I remember. MAC Vegas Vault, which is this orangey colour. I'll just, I haven't swatched it for you in a while. That's what it looks like. It tends to come off almost pink on me, which is actually quite interesting. Um, it basically hasn't moved. I think I've only used it maybe twice. Uh, the iTeeny Swizzle Stick. This is basically what I use to tightline my upper eye line, eye line with. It's not like black, black. It's more like dark grey. If my camera would focus on it. Um, I like it for my tight line, which is why I'm not really mad that it has it's not moving very fast. I did get a little bit of movement though. Um, this one is the iTeeny one, um, and so that little line there was where we were last time, and that's where we are now. So, teeny tiny little bit of movement on that one. But, you know, progress is progress, and I know I'm using it, even if it doesn't look like it. Um, the Essence Eyebrow Stylist. Um, again, this doesn't seem to look too much different every time I show it. I've been working sort of in this location here, so it might look a little bit thinner on... Um, I'll insert a photo from last time. So that you can see um, but again I quite like it it's what I'm using today it does what I need it to do so you know I just keep on using it okay the star looks ultra olive pencil in ultra olive duh. Um, it's a very soft creamy um, pencil so you pretty much have to sharpen it every time you use it like you see I, what I did to the top of it just watching it on my hand very very soft um, only a little bit of progress because I haven't really used it much as I said I haven't really done makeup much so that line there is where we are now right there. that's where we were last time that's where we are now so we're making progress. It's a little bit confusing in all of the the lines that I have on there. I know what I'm doing, even if nobody else does. <laughs> the W7 lipstick in... Um, well, actually it doesn't have a name. It's just a pink lipstick. And, and it's just a, a little mini sample. It too has not moved. Um, it is... I have actually worn it, I think, once. Only once. But that's it right there. It's a super bright pink. So it hasn't moved. No new mark for that one. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I don't know where this is. I tried to um, put it in a thing. That's where we were last time. And I've used it. So it'll be lower than that. But I have no idea where it is. And I can't get it to slide down off the side. And even if I try to scrape the side, see when I scrape the side, I reckon I'm way further down than I think I actually am, but there's no visible line in there, so I am not 100% sure where I am, so I haven't marked a line on it. Then we have the highlighter from Inglot in 85. It doesn't look any different. I think I've only used it like once. Um, 
I basically just swirl my brush around in it, so it's going to take ages anyway. It is... You have to use heaps, though, because, like, you can't even see that. It's pretty. It's just... I don't know. It's not what I remember it being. Then we have the face mask from on Vita Light. <laughs> You'd think I would have already used this. It's only a single sheet mask, but it's still there. I still have not used it. The Lacura Hand Cream. This was put in recently. I, I, I can't see where it is. I use this at least once or twice a day. Um, I'm guessing that it's that it's down like around here, but I really have no idea. It, it's definitely getting lighter, and I quite like it. The smell is is nice. It's quite a luxurious kind of smell. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying using that, even though I don't know where it is. The chapstick hydration lock, um, the day night one. Um, if you remember me telling you last time, my, my daughter was playing with the nighttime side and she kind of had to smoosh it back in. Um, so, there is how much I have used of that one. And that is how much I've used of that one. I tend to use the nighttime one more than I use the daytime one. Um, and the daytime one is quite firm, so you don't use a lot when it goes on, whereas the nighttime one is very soft, and so you use quite a bit more. Um, so we put in the Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner last time. This had never been used. I had never opened it. I had no idea what it was like. I used it today, and I don't like it. <laughs> it did not like going over all the makeup I have on my eyes. And look at that. That is one swipe. Right there. Um, that's my eye teeny, which is grey. This is this. It's just... It's patchy and it skips and... I was trying to get like a dramatic wing and I literally just could not do it with that. It's It's... I don't know what it's going to be like with a less intense eye. Maybe it'll be fine, but um, yeah, not impressed so far for something. I, I was really hoping for something more from it, and clearly not. And the last one, which was the last one I put in last time, was my oldest lip product, which is Maybelline's Very Cherry. This is super old. I have worn it. Um, I actually found that it moves quite quickly because it's quite creamy. I actually had to make a new mark for it, which I was actually surprised by. So, that was where we started last time, and that's where we are now. And I swear I only used it once. I might have used it twice, but there you go. So, I have two items to pick from my little container. Let's give it a little shake around. And see what we come up with. Right, we have one. <laughs> and we have two. So, the first one is something you aren't sure of. Okay. And the second one is a current favorite product. Alright, I will have a little thinking and then I will come back. Okay, so I am back. For current favourite product, I am going to put in my NYX Control Freak um, Eye Brow Gel. Um, I have no idea how much is in here. I've been using it for a little while. Um, I wasn't 100% sure of it at first, but now I really like it. it. It doesn't make my eyebrows crispy, and it seems to hold them in place. It doesn't quite tame a couple of like crazies I have, but it's it's a good solid product. And most of my other favorite products are already in a project, so that's the one I'm going with. And something that you are not sure of is this mascara, because I need a new mascara, clearly. 
because I um, I just got rid of my other one. The um, So Susan Flutter Mascara. I've actually had this for a while. I don't think I've actually opened it. I remember a lot of people saying that they really didn't like this and that it smells really terrible. I'm going to open it. You can tell that I have not opened this because it's super clean. That's what it looks like. Hmm, sounds alright to me. Um, I have no idea what it's like, but I heard so much negative about it that I'm not really sure about it. So that is going to be my something I'm not sure of product. So that is it for this particular update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. If you want to see more of my stuff, then click down there and subscribe. Click the little bell so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.